prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Let us admit our many sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful and forgiving love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you, mortal humanity is sure to fall, may we be kept by your constant helps from all harm and directed to all that bring salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princess of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean, put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil, learn to do good. Make justice your aim, redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea, defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you, 
for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. Sinabi ng buong mahal, kasamaan ay layuan, kasalan ay pagsisihan. Kayo ay mat bagong buhay, magpalik loob na tunay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not, do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers." Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus and the scribes and the Pharisees were not always at good terms with each other. Many of the scribes and Pharisees do not like Jesus. In fact, they are always keeping watch of what Jesus was saying and doing. Binabantayan nila lagi ang mga sinasabi at ginagawa ni Jesus para meron silang iakusa laban sa Kanya. And Jesus, several times, also condemned the scribes and the Pharisees. 
He even called them hypocrites. Mga mapagpaimbabaw. That is why what Jesus said in our gospel today is quite surprising. Despite their mutual dislike, Jesus said, Listen to what they are saying because they are leaders. They sit on the chair of Moses. They teach you the laws, the commandments of God, the word of God. And so listen to them. Just do not follow their example. This is surprising, my dear brothers and sisters, because Jesus did not say, do not listen to the scribes and Pharisees. Jesus did not silence the scribes and the Pharisees despite their being hypocrites. Jesus recognized their authority as teachers. And so he told the people, listen to what they are saying because what they are saying are true. Follow what they are teaching you. Just do not follow their example because they do not live what they preach. Hindi pinatahimik ni Jesus ang mga eskriba at mga pariseyo. Hindi niya sinabi sa mga tao, huwag kayong makinig sa kanila. Kahit na meron silang kakulangan, iginalang sila ni Jesus. At sinabi niya sa mga tao, pakinggan ninyo ang kanilang itinuturo. My dear brothers and sisters, let me share with you something that is very personal. Many people, even those who are watching us online, would send us messages and tell us priests not to say things that they do not want to hear. They will tell us, Father, you should not meddle in politics. Hindi na ako magsisimba sa inyo dahil namumuliti ka kayo. And I am thinking, why is it that when there are people, even prominent people, who would spread lies, who would destroy the reputation of other people, who would accuse people, why is it that when they speak lies, accusations, and when they destroy people's reputations, we accept them as okay. We do not even react. But when priests start to proclaim God's word, the truth of God's word, we want them to shut up. Bakit ganun? Kapag may mga tao na nagsasalita ng kasinungalingan, ng paninira sa kapwa, okay lang. Walang nagre-react. Kumakalat pa nga sa social media, nahe-headline pa sa mga dyaryo. Pero kapag may mga tao na nagsasalita ng katotohanan, pinatatahimik. Kapag sinabi namin, huwag papatay, pamumuliti ka ba yun? Hindi ba utos ng Diyos ang huwag pumatay? Kapag sinabi namin, huwag mangangalunya, Pamumuliti ka ba yun? 
hindi ba nasa utos ng Diyos ang huwag makiapid? Kapag sinabi namin huwag magnanakaw, pamumuliti ka ba yun? Hindi ba nasa utos ng Diyos na huwag magnanakaw? Kapag sinabi ba namin huwag magsisinungaling, pamumuliti ka ba yun? Hindi ba nasa utos ng Diyos ang huwag magsinungaling? Kapag sinabi namin labanan ang kasamaan, pamumuliti ka ba yun? Hindi ba sa Jesus pinalayas niya ang mga demonyo? I really could not understand. Bakit yung mga bakit ganoon yung mga taong nagsisinungaling at naninira sa kapwa okay lang hindi pinapansin pinapalampas lang pero yung mga taong nagsasalita ng katotohanan pinatatahimik natin nagtatanong lang po My dear brothers and sisters, even Jesus did not silence the scribes and the Pharisees despite their failure to live up to what they were preaching. For in the end, truth is truth regardless of who says it. Ang katotohanan ay katotohanan kahit sino pa ang magsabi. At ang kasinungalingan ay kasinungalingan kahit sino din ang magsabi. And so, this season of Lent, let us ask God's grace to be able to listen to anyone who speaks the truth. Listen. Because listening has its rewards, and failure to listen has its punishment. This is what the Lord tells us in our first reading today. He exhorts His people, Hear the word of the Lord. Listen to the instructions of our God. If you are willing to And you obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Please stand. Let us heed the admonition of our Lord, who taught us to do His work humbly and without ostentation. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders may be totally dedicated to their noble calling to preach the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That parents and teachers may accompany their teachings with witnessing and good examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may always seek to do what is right and may God's word be a living power, influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers. And we also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass.
Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with a generous and sincere heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it, we, may we be cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, in this, and in, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof. But, but only, only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the refreshment of this sacred table, we pray, O Lord, bring us an increase in devoutness of life and the constant help of your work of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls, that having received your forgiveness, they may ever rejoice in your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sorry.